girl Erin Monique and I'm back today with another video and you all are here today to see how I got my knotless braids. Yes, I did them myself. Can you believe it? I know you can't, but I did. Um, yeah, so stay tuned to see how I got this look, my knotless braids on myself. I did them myself and you'll see all the products and everything that I use and everything that is needed to do these knotless braids on yourself. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video and Okay, so I have my hair sectioned off. I, okay, so let's get this straight. I previously recorded this video, but I didn't like the setup that it was, so I've decided to take down like two of my braids and redo them. I've had these up for a little over a week now, so I'm just gonna rebraid two of them. As you can see this one and this one here. So as I showed you, you just you guys just need your braiding hair and some jam for your knotless braids. So I'm gonna take some jam. I usually have it on the back of my hand, but I'm only doing two, so I don't need to do all of that. And I'm just gonna put it at the root of my braid. And to do the knotless braids, you are going to break your hair, break your hair off, section your hair off into three parts what I'm doing now and you're just going to start braiding your natural hair and I would say I like to do two to three crossovers so that's where I am right now I just did two and I'm going to take my first piece of hair you don't want to use too much depends on the size that you're going for mine are pretty small and I'm just going to go ahead and literally just start braiding that into my braid if I hope this makes sense And then I'll show you how you add in your hair as you continue to braid. And I like to do that before my hair runs out. So as you can see, I have two pieces of weave here along with my hair. And my hair is serving as the third strand. So now that I'm getting close to where my hair ends, I am going to take another piece of hair. I've got jam on my fingers. You see how I'm holding it like this? I'm going to literally take that and this is my real hair in the middle and I'm going to take this. So this will serve as this piece and this will serve as this piece. And I'm going to continue to braid. And you can add more jam as you go down so your hair blends in with your braid. Okay, so you see how these two are here? I'm going to take this and put it on top of my finger. This is right where I added the piece in this part and you can't even tell.
Again, start braiding your natural hair. Your first piece. You see these two fingers here that's moving? I'm going to take my hair and I'm going to put it in between those two fingers. I'm going to start braiding. I'm adding my second piece a little earlier this time. And again, those two fingers. Put that hair in between there, like this. Also, at the end of my braids, I do like to do a little small knot. I'm not sure if people are still braiding their hair or what they're doing to seal their braids or nail glue. I don't know if you see that, but um, yeah, I use none of those. I just do a small knot and I'm good to go. Okay, so there it is. These are the three braids that I did for you guys on camera. Not little braids, very easy. Um, if you're able to, if you know how to braid, it should be very simple for you. Um, do not mind my little, whatever you want to call it in the front. But um, yeah, this is it. My braids are really long. I'll upload pictures of my braids as well. So there we go. Thank you all for watching this video. I appreciate it so much. And if you could kindly, so kindly, Subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video, tell a friend to tell a friend if they're interested in trying not this birds or anything else that I have on my channel as far as makeup, hair, anything, because I do it all, baby. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Turn the post notification bells on and I'll see y'all in the next video.